There was a question on the on the segment we just completed. We I talked about balance laws. I talked about the balance of mass, uh, momentum, and energy. And the question was, uh, in the context of transport phenomena, are there balance laws applying to transport? The answer is yes. There are, of course, balance laws applying to transport. And um, conveniently, it turns out that I have written them down there. If we are talking about the transport of uh, mass, right? That the, the corresponding balance law is, in fact, the balance of mass. So if, we're, if we have this, and we decide to introduce a, a, um, a red dye maybe at one end, right? We introduce a little blotch of, of red dye uh, and uh, watch how it spreads through this body, right? Or it may be more convenient to think about it in the context of a fluid, right? We all know about how we can introduce a dye in a fluid and watch as it diffuses or, or is transported through the fluid. That is described by the balance of mass. Okay, and we will, we, when we get to that, we will see how, exactly how that is done. There is another kind of uh, transport phenomenon as well, which is uh, actually perhaps a little more familiar to most of you, which is just the transport of heat, heat transport, right, or heat conduction. It turns out that the equations for heat conduction, such as maybe the, the conduction of heat through this fluid again or, or, or through our solid body, if we were to heat them up at one end and how, how does heat transport itself through, or how does heat get transported through? The way that happens is, again, through the balance of energy. The equations of heat conduction are basically derived from the balance of energy. And we will see more details about this as we get closer to those topics.